Hi everyone, it's Russell again with Redbeard's Outdoor Adventures and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Kentucky rig for your catfishing. You'll need a leader if you want a leader or just do it straight on your pole. Mine's roughly three foot long. Your weight of your desired ounces, minus three ounces. Your hook, I'm using an ADOT Gamagatsu circle hook. I like these because that bends back like that. I feel like it helps set the hook. And then a barrel swivel if you're going to do this on a leader setup. <clears throat> You'll begin with going, this here will be the bottom of my string where I'm going to put my weight. So you want enough distance between your weight and your hook. So I'm going to go about there. Kind of in the center of the leader, it looks like. You'll make a small loop like that. And make sure you got a decent enough size of loop because you'll have to put your hook through it. And if you're using like a J hook, you'll have some length. And you'll do that like that. Where you have, it will look like that. Now here comes the tricky part. You'll take this top smaller loop and run it through that bottom loop three or four times. I'm using 30 pound slime line. It's kind of a pain. Lighter string will be easier, heavier string will be a little bit harder. And after you get that through there three or four times, you'll take your bottom, well mine just came on then. <clears throat> Once you get that through there three or four times like that, you'll take your bottom loop and shove it through the loop you created. I gotta move my pinching fingers here. There we go. Okay, so now I'll take this bottom loop. That's my top loop, bottom loop. I'll take that. Shove it through there. Probably have to use your mouth unless you have somebody helping you. And you'll pull it tight once you get your loop through that top loop. And put, kind of lubricate it a bit with your mouth. It reduces friction so it won't put so much stress on your line. And then after that, You'll want some length to this, so make the loop bigger if you need to, because you have to thread it over your hook. And if you don't have enough length, you won't be able to do it. Pinch your, I need to be showing you this, pinch your string, pull it out, pinch the end of it, where you got a small loop. Shove that loop to the back side of your hook's eyelet. Now it'll come through and pull your hook all the way back, thread it through there like that, and pull it tight. And your hook is on your leader. <clears throat> then you'll take your opposite end, whichever end you want the hook your weight on which mine's pretty much in the middle. You'll pull so much out. You'll need kind of a good amount and you'll pinch one end with your loose end with your finger down like that. And you'll just bring it up and just tie a knot up as high as you can close to your fingers. Again, can be kind of tricky because the string don't want to stay in one spot. Just tie a normal knot in it. Pull it through. Cinch it down. Then you'll have a loop. Just like that. You can do the same thing like you did with the hook. You bring your string together. You'll pinch it, push it through the eyelid of the weight, 
slide your weight all the way back to your whoops your knot push the weight through your little loop and there you go then you have your hook up here my lighting is not the greatest and your weights down here then you just tie on your swivel or if you're not using a swivel then you've already done it on the string on your pole so you're done i just i'm gonna do a i think it's like a cinch knot essentially you just slide it through the, your barrel swivel bring it so far up and pinch it together I spin this around your barrel swivel around six or so times. The stronger string you have, the higher poundage, the harder it is. It's kind of a pain. Once you get that around so many times, you'll take your loose end there. Oh my <laughs> just came undone. Sometimes it's easier just to wrap the string around yourself instead of spinning the barrel swivel. My hands weren't sweaty, I could hold on to stuff. What's a video without bloopers, huh? Anyway, get that turn swiveled, spun around there like you need it a few times. Man, I can't do this today. I use this all the time and I can't do it. Alright. So you'll get that spun around and you'll have this here where your excess is. And I just lost it again. Oh, there's still some there. So you'll take that excess, shove it through the loop down by your swivel. Put a few more in there before I do that. Show it through that loop. Sorry you didn't see that. Pull it tight a bit. Pull it tight. And it's best if you get that wet with your spit or water or whatever because it will cause a lot of friction. This can tend to slip so you'll lose your rig. That's it. This here is the Kentucky rig. It's good to help keep your bait more so off the debris and off of rocks. Your weight will be in all that, so hopefully your weight don't get snagged in between something. Your bait will kind of float up more, flop on the current time. But the biggest thing I like this for is because the weight, the, your hook is not essentially dragging the ground in the debris. It's more up in the air to hopefully miss everything. Thank you for watching. I hope this was a good video. Like and subscribe when you get done watching it. Thank you.